Hello, my name is Dr. Mary Amore and I'm the Executive Director of Maze Lake Ministries. And we're going to continue our conversation today about developing a prayer life with the Lord. I want you to think for a moment um, of your image of God. Close your eyes and when I say, you know, when, who is God for you? Is God Father? Is God Creator? Is God Spirit? Is God Jesus? Mother? Um, it, you know, God can be multiple images for people. And I think one of the problems that we have in, in cultivating um, a prayer life, a relationship with the Lord, is that sometimes our image of God might not be um, something that's approachable. Let me tell you why. Um, I'm a baby boomer and I was born in the 50s and I grew up in a Catholic school and the image of God that I grew up with was one that was going to strike me dead with lightning bolts if I missed Mass on Sunday even though I was six years old and didn't drive. It's very hard to cultivate a loving, intimate relationship with a God that's going to strike you dead if you miss Mass. Um, it wasn't until Vatican II came around and I was in high school and I was at a retreat day and the priest said something to all of us high school girls that changed my life forever. He said, speak to Jesus as if he were your friend. Well, that was life changing for me because I was 16 years old and I knew what a friend was. I knew how to be a friend. And so I began to cultivate this real relationship with Jesus where I would tell him my deepest, darkest secrets. I would get angry at him, but I would apologize. Um, I would seek his wisdom and his counsel. I would bring him with me wherever I went because he was my friend. And from that day to this day, Jesus is someone real for me. Um, I always joke, Jesus is like the American Express card. I never leave home without him. And that is how your relationship with the Lord should be as well. So be very aware of who God is in your life and maybe begin to read scripture and read the stories of the prodigal father who ran out to meet his son and hugged him and kissed him because his son was lost and now had been found. He was dead and was alive. God is just waiting for us to take the first step toward him and he will run out to meet us and embrace us and love us and forgive us. There is no sin that we could ever do in our life that God cannot forgive. What we do is we put our human um, limits upon God's unlimited mercy and compassion. So today I'm going to ask you to just spend a little time thinking about who God is for you. Perhaps maybe changing your image of God to a more merciful and loving God who wants you to come back to him, who wants to embrace you, to forgive you, and to walk your journey with you today and every day. May God bless you and have a wonderful day.